All right, we're going in a car today. No more trains. We are on the way to Oita. Oita, Kuju Mountain. Kuju Mountain. Yeah. Okay, we are at Kuju Yume O Tsuribashi. 500 yen, about five dollars. So let's go. And Sean lost his ticket already. Arigatouzaimasu. <laughs> <laughs> We came to Kuju Yume O Tsuribashi. Ah, written? No, not Kuju. So this bridge is pretty high. Can't really tell from the video, but but yeah, we're way up here. We gotta get a shot of this from the side somewhere. But <laughs> they have a grate in the middle. You can see through the grate. Yeah, if you're scared of heights, this might not be good for you. And then it shakes a little bit too when people walk. There's a waterfall over here too. Let's check it out. That's the bridge. Got a good view of the side. Now it's time to eat. Just like everything else. Once we're done with an activity, we go eat. Time for lunch. This little place in the mountains, real close to the bridge. So, uh, yeah, let's go eat. Oh, nice. This is a lot of food. This is amazing. This is the most food we've gotten. Here in yeah, Japan. This is the most so this is like uh, chicken karaage, but special for this this area. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little bit different. Yeah, a little soft. Yeah, softer. Yeah, it's good. Mm. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> All right, we are going to Kinlinko. 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 Kinlinko Lake. Here is Sean's dream to go My to a... fantasy <laughs> comes true. Meow, 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 <laughs> Perfect. Oh. They don't really play with the humans much. They more play with each other. And they like this girl right here. She must feed them, be the main caretaker for them. So, yeah, but they're cute. Cute little dogs. So, that's it for the Shiba Cafe. Pretty fun. 
they weren't as interactive as I was hoping. They were kind of playing with each other and a little scared of people. But uh, yeah, it's cool. A little over $8, so not bad for a half hour. But uh, they were cute, especially the little puppies. A lot of them were fighting a lot, so that kind of took a little bit away from playing with them. But they're cute. And we saw them. So, uh, yeah. Sean's over here at the cat cafe, so we'll see how his compares to the dog cafe. But, uh, yeah. Uh, if you like animals, something to do here in Japan. So, check it out. This is our triple room. It's pretty big. I got this one. This is the farthest away from everybody. All right, I'll take, I'll take this end. <laughs> Koichi gets the middle. Gets the middle. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, you got the middle. We are in Beppu. I like it. Onsen town. I don't know. To the onsen. That'll be interesting. All right, so that's our first onsen here in Beppu. And there's over a hundred onsens in this area, but our hotel has one, so we got to use it for free. And that was an interesting experience for me and Sean. So yeah, I think tomorrow we will head out and see more of this area. And we got one more night before heading back to Fukuoka. Yeah, very good onsen place. <laughs> yeah, it's Beppu. I'm the most relaxed I've ever been today, so. Where I've ever been, ever, maybe. I don't know. So check it out. All right? All right. We made it to Aso. It's a geo park. Yeah. Aso something geo park. And it's cold. <laughs> and it's a little rainy. And it's foggy. It's supposed to be a really nice view. But we're not seeing much because of all the clouds so yeah but we drove all the way up here so we'll go walk to the top and see what we can find but it's cold how do you think huh i'm cold <laughs> <laughs> I, I only have one layer on underneath this. i know so yeah we don't cold. we don't have our merino wool under layers on because it's been warmer but not yeah here. today is cold but not here no not here <laughs> all right okay we are at the top of Aso Daikambo and it's still cloudy so visibility is not very great but there's nobody here so that's a plus finally found a spot in Japan with no people I guess we're gonna head back down now and maybe get some lunch. Yeah, let's go get some lunch. All right, let's go. After driving about a half hour into this little town, we found a place to eat. <laughs> it's like a cool little place. And there's uh, no chain restaurants or anything in this area so we have we weren't with Koichi me and Sean would just be lost we'd be starving to death I think just eating at the convenience store every meal so all right let's go eat finished lunch and I forgot to film it so yeah as a traditional lunch some chicken fried rice with some weird stuff in it but not bad seven bucks so, off to the next spot. Did you guys see the video of the food? It was so amazing. <laughs> oh wait, we didn't get any. We arrived at the Cotton Club. And this is very, very peaceful here. Hello. Oh, look at you. Oh, yeah. I think we're gonna relax here. Looks pretty peaceful. Here's our room. Oh, it's warm. This is our traditional room. It's pretty big. We got a little sofa bed. We got our uh, beds to sleep in here. So not bad, but still, it's it's like 140 bucks a night. So so it's not cheap, but 
It's big. We got a table there and chairs and a fridge and a heater. That's important because it's cold up here. All right. We got a little tea maker too. So I guess there's some hiking to do around here. There's a volcano crater with some water in it. Oh, becoming a waterfall. Now. Oh, and the sun's coming out. Let's the check out this city. Different. This is the end of our stay at the Cotton Club in the Aso Mountain area. Very nice, relaxing place. Very quiet. I think we were the only guests here. So, yeah. Very quiet. Big difference compared to all the cities we've been to. All right, off to some more adventures. Let's do it. We came up this mountain road Nobody else here. Really narrow one-way road. And we don't know where it goes. So we're just going to stop here and fly the drone a bit. And then probably go back and find a bigger road to get to the volcano. <laughs> I'm going to go like this and you're going to... Don't go up and then I'll go like this and then you go up, okay? Ah, okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> We made it to the volcano and there's toxic gas flying around so we got to hold our breath. <laughs> oh. Sulfur smell. Wow, this is crazy. Yeah, it's pretty cold out here. I saw this frost. Look at it. That's snow. Or frost. Ooh, it's cold. All right, so I think that is it for the volcano. It's a little chilly. They actually evacuated that side over there because the smoke was getting too much. So, yeah, it's freezing up here though. You'd think it'd be warmer by a volcano, <laughs> but it's not. So, yeah, I finally got to use my hood. The sole reason I bought this jacket, since I have two like this from Uniqlo without a hood. Very painful and it's like ice, like biting ice cold. <laughs> wow. This is really cold. Samoy. <laughs> Samoy, which is cold yeah. in Japanese. Uh, Samoy desu ne? <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's go somewhere warm. Get some food. We made it to the waterfall area. On well, the parking lot at least. Not sure how far it is, but... Yeah, and there's some weird bears here. Check out these bears.
that is the waterfall. Pretty cool. There's two of them. You could walk behind it. Got a lot of good shots. Way too many more than we'll use, but but pretty cool. So yeah, now maybe back to Fukuoka or dinner, one or the other or both. So yeah, it's been a great road trip. And that was fun. So Ah, all right, back in the car. I think we got a long drive. Very strange. <laughs> so, yeah, really weird. Don't know what these are for, but we're gonna get out of here before anything weirder happens. Hey, this guy's fishing. How was dinner? Yeah, good days. Sorry, I like chicken. Welcome back to Fukuoka again. Thank you for dinner. Alright, that was a great dinner. And this is just about it with, yeah. with traveling, traveling to Naka. Yeah, travel, tra travel, tra travel to Naka. Tra travel to Naka. Travel, yeah. travel underscore Tanaka. <laughs> Follow him <laughs> and his YouTube. Yes, yes, YouTube. Ichiban YouTuber. Ichiban YouTuber I'll be <laughs> in Fukuoka. Yeah. <laughs> That's it for Fukuoka. Ah, we checked out of our... It was a hostel, but we had a private room with a private bathroom. And ran to the train station, grabbed some food for the trip. And now we got three trains and about six to six and a half hours till Tokyo. And we get to stay at the Hyatt Regency Tokyo, which is exciting. Uh, get a really nice hotel for our last night. But we had a great time here in Fukuoka. Thanks to Koichi for showing us around, taking us on the road trip. So much fun. All right, next stop, Tokyo. So we got three minutes to get off this train, find our next train, and get on before it takes off. And it's a four hour ride. So if we miss this one, we're kind of screwed. But the conductor said it's the next train over. So we'll see. I think we'll make it. <sighs> Got about a minute. I don't think we're, I don't know if we're gonna make it. Okay. Getting close to the station. <laughs> this is stressful. Alright, let's go. <laughs> let's make sure. Okay. There's nobody here. All right, we made it. So we made our train barely. Um, it was originally a three minute transfer and our train was late. So it ended up being maybe one and a half to two minutes. Luckily it was the next track over. So we just ran out one door into the next. So it worked out, but it was a little stressful. This is a four hour ride to Tokyo and we're on the second fastest bullet train in, uh, yeah, the second fastest bullet train line. So, so four hours going really fast, but all right, next stop, Tokyo. iVideo Wi-Fi here in Japan is excellent. We'd be so lost without it. Been using it for three weeks now and it's been solid. It's been uh, always working, even out in the country. <laughs> Most places in the world. Uh, I've used it in all over <laughs> Europe, <laughs> Japan, <laughs> even worked <laughs> in uh, China a little bit, <laughs> and the Philippines. It's been excellent just helping us navigate through the train system and walking to our hotels and just finding our way around Japan. Without it, we would have been totally lost. So, yeah, check it out.